टू सीरीज एंड वन अनदर इज समेशन वी एन समेशन वी एन दैट इज इक्वल टू समेशन वन अपॉन एन नाउ दिस सीरीज इज डाइवर्जेंट दिस सीरीज इज डाइवर्जेंट वाई दिस सीरीज इज डाइवर्जेंट बिकॉज वी हैव अ वन इम्पॉर्टेंट रिजल्ट दैट समेशन वन अपॉन एन रेस टू पी इज कन्वर्जेंट फॉर पी ग्रेटर देन वन एंड डाइवर्जन फॉर पी लेजर इक्वल टू वन सो दिस इज वन इंपॉर्टेंट रिजल्ट वी हैव सो यू कैन सी हियर पी इज इक्वल टू वन इन दिस केस सो समेशन वी एन इज डाइवर्जन फ्रॉम दिस रिजल्ट ओके नाव वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द लिमिट ऑफ यू एन अपॉन वी एन वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द लिमिट ऑफ यू एन अपॉन वी एन राइट एंड इफ दिस लिमिट इज फाइनाइट एंड नॉन जीरो देन वी कैन से दैट समेशन यू एन इज ऑल्सो डाइवर्जन बिकॉज ऑफ समेशन वी एन इज डाइवर्जन द कंपेरिजन टेस्ट इज इफ समेशन यू एन एंड समेशन वी एन both are positive term series and the limit of un upon vn as n tends to infinite is finite and non zero then both the series are converged or divert together that means what if one series is convergent another series is also convergent if one series is divergent another series is also divergent so we are using we want to use that statement so from un we define vn and we already know that vn is divergent because of this result now we find un upon vn limit of un upon vn as n as n tends to infinite okay and we are trying to show that the limit of un upon vn as n tends to infinite is finite and non zero so summation as n tends to infinite limit un upon vn that is equal to as n tends to infinite now what is un un is 2n plus 1 upon n square plus 2n plus 1 and what is vn vn is 1 upon n right so this n is in from become in numerator so as n tends to infinite n into 2n plus 1 upon n square plus 2n plus 1 now this equal to n square will be common from numerator so n square into 2 plus 1 upon n upon in denominator also n square will be common and in the bracket we get 1 plus 2 n upon n square so 2 upon n plus 1 upon n square so n square into 1 plus 2 upon n plus 1 upon n square right so n square will be cancel out now as n tends to infinite the limit is 1 upon n 0 this is also 0 so this equal to 2 right this is equal to 2 so we we prove that the limit of un upon vn as n tends to infinite is finite and non zero definitely 2 is the number finite and non zero so hence using comparison test summation un that is summation 2n plus 1 upon 
n square plus 2n plus 1 is also divergent since summation vn that is summation 1 upon n is divergent right because of this summation vn is divergent using comparison test we can say that summation un is also divergent because we are prove that the limit of un upon vn is finite and non zero right so here the complete the first example that summation uh, 2n upon plus 2n plus 1 upon n square plus 2n plus 1 is divergent now the second example you can see on the screen the second example is summation e raised to minus n the second example is summation e raised to minus n now to check to solve this example here we are using root test here we are using root test you can also uh, use uh, ratio test but the using a root test we can easily check that the given series is convergent or divergent ok so first of all you have to understand what is a root test now here i written the statement of a root test that root test what is a root test if summation un be a positive term series positive term series then we have to find this limit as n tends to infinite un raised to 1 upon n call it l right summation un be a positive term series then as n tends to infinite un raised to 1 upon n call it l now if if this l is less than 1 then series is convergent series is convergent and the second one if l is greater than 1 right if l is greater than 1 then series is divergent and for l equal to 1 we cannot say anything the test fail right for l equal to 1 the test fail so th this is a root test using this root test we can easily check that the given example uh, the given series is convergent or divergent so you can see un is what here what is our un un is uh, e raised to minus n what is our un un is e raised to minus n so un raised to 1 upon n that is uh, e raised to minus n raised to 1 upon n right and this equal to e raised to minus 1 so that is 1 upon e now as n tends to infinite this is a constant term right un raised to 1 upon n that is also 1 upon e become 1 upon e okay right now if this is 1 upon e now you can see 1 upon e the value of e is 2 point approximately we take 2.71 right so definitely 1 upon e is less than 1 this number 1 upon e is all less than 1 and you can see if the limit the value of this limit is less than 1 the series is convergent that means what the given series summation so you can write down the summation e raised to minus n is convergent
this series is convergent okay so here we check both the example that the first series is divergent use, using comparison test we prove that and this second example summation e raised to minus s is convergent using root test easily right so next question for what values of x do the power series converge so here here we want to check for what values of x do the power series this series summation n is equal to 1 to infinite minus 1 raised to n minus 1 x raised to 2 n minus 1 upon 2 n minus 1 converge so here we want to find some intervals in which the the given series is converge or in which interval the given series is divergent okay so let's try to check this is question 1c this is our series now what is our un what is our un un is right minus 1 raised to n minus 1 x raised to 2n minus 1 upon 2n minus 1 ok now if we take un plus 1 upon un so un plus 1 what is un plus 1 instead of n we have to write n plus 1 in all the terms so minus 1 raised to n x raised to 2n plus 2 minus 1 so 2n plus 1 upon 2n plus 1 ok now as n tends to infinite un plus 1 upon un modulus un plus 1 upon un that is equal to minus 1 raised to n you can see un plus un plus 1 upon un that means what uh, this first term first and this fourth that will become numerator and this two are in numerator uh, denominator right so minus 1 raised to n into x raised to 2n plus 1 into 2n minus 1 upon minus 1 raised to n minus 1 x raised to 2n minus 1 right into 2n plus 1 so we are taking modulus so that minus 1 raised to n or minus 1 raised to n minus 1 both are become cancel out because uh, that will become 1 right uh, now this equal to just simply uh, n will be common as n tends to infinite right x raised to 2n plus 1 this is x raised to 2n minus 1 so the x raised to 2n minus 1 will be cancelled right and the just x square will be remaining so that x square you can take outside fr from the limit right that x square you can take outside from the limit so x square into as n tends to infinite limit 2n minus 1 upon 2n plus 1 now limit of uh, this term limit of this term that will become 1 because n will be common so this is 2 minus 1 upon n upon 2 plus 1 upon n as n tends to infinite 1 upon n becomes 0 
so finally you will get 2 upon 2 that will become 1 so the final limit is x square right now here we are using ratio test as i explained the previous in previous example as i explained root test here we are using ratio test right now what is a ratio test what is ratio test ratio test in ratio test we are checking as n tends to infinite un plus 1 upon un that is equal to l for a positive term series if this l is less than 1 the series is convergent if l this l is greater than 1 the series is divergent right ok now because of uh, here we are using modulus so here you can see this is our example right similarly in this example we are using as n tends to infinite modulus un plus 1 upon un the limit of this term is equal to x square right that means what when modulus of x square so this is mod x square basically right this modulus will be happen so this mod x square is less than 1 the series is convergent and for greater than 1 the series is divergent right so using ratio test in previous example so this is our ratio test right uh, in this example we can say that mod x mod x square less than 1 that means mod x less than 1 right both are same mod x square less than 1 that is the same as mod x less than 1 when we are taking root on both the side so mod x less than 1 the series is the given series is convergent and for mod x greater than 1 the given series is divergent right now but what about for mod x equal to 1 what about for mod x equal